Hey everybody, this is Edgejo and welcome to another video in the series on the Python basics and specifically while loops. So last time I said that we will look at some sort of a question that you ask and then we interact with the software, um, maybe with like a math quiz or something like that. But I've decided I want to do a, just a simple password type thing. Um, please don't use, this is for um, learning a different ways that you can incorporate while loops. So please don't use password as your password in this case. So first what we need to do is we need to set a password that we can test. So I'm just going to say password um, and obviously I'm just going to use a password. Um, again please don't use that and um, then we also want to guess what it is there's going to be some sort of a guess I'm just going to set that to um, blank to nothing and then we're going to use our while loop um, to determine whether our guess is equal to the password so what I'm going to say to make this run while um, the guess is not equal to the password so what I mean by that so while you the guess which is blank is not equal to the password that one which is not those two are not equal so while that is not equal while that is true we are then going to guess what the password is so I'm going to say guess equals I'm going to use an input function and then I'm just going to have a simple what or enter your password enter um, your password actually I'm just going to say enter the password enter the password um, and I'm going to put a little, a little bit of space there and um, so when I run this obviously there's it's just going to actually I'm not going to run because it's going to be an infinite it's going to be an infinite loop because it's never going to um, go out um, of that uh, because there's no testing that's going on there's absolutely no testing that's going to go on so let me put some testing first of all so if um, guess is equal to um, password if that is true then I'm going to print um, a correct password correct password there we go correct password and if it is not correct I'll have an else um, part of my statement where I will just say that incorrect um, password I see I've forgotten the my I miss I just mistyped it but there should be a quote by the way you could use a uh, single or double quote it, it's not um, it doesn't it doesn't matter for that let me just have a quick look it looks fine print value I don't know why this is um, keeps coming up there but anyway, there we go. So let's have a quick look. So I've got um, my password that I set, the blank that I set. I'm comparing those two over there. Um, so while that is true, I've got my colon. I've got my um, indentation on the left-hand side. Um, guess equals into the password. And then we compare the password. If it is equal, then it's going to say correct, otherwise incorrect. Right, let's run that. Let's have a look and see. Password is not defined. What do you mean password is not defined? Password password guess 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 password oh there I got it I got it got it got it right cool f5 and enter and enter the password so I'm gonna say um, I'll just put in some random uh, thing like that that's incorrect password I'm gonna do something else again incorrect password and then I'm gonna give the correct password and there we go it says um, that one so that's another way that you could use it. So basically what will happen, it'll continuously do this until you get the correct one. By the way, a quick tip, um, if you ever write software and you get start to get good at this, um, please make sure that whenever people um, enter a password, just give them a limited number of uh, times to do that. For example, three times or five times or something like that. Um, otherwise, people can continuously, um, with a brute force attack basically, continue to guess your password until they get in. Cool. So there we go. I think this is um, probably enough for the very basics of the while loops. So from um, I'll do a few more videos on while loops, um, but there'll be more specific um, examples that we can use. So um, I'll set some sort of problem and then we solve the problem and we'll do a few of them in the future videos. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.